EPA is in crisis at the moment. There's, there's no two ways about it. And something needs to be done. And it's, it's, and it's, it's the house is on fire. Those were Shamila Batoy's words during her interview for the position of NDPP. Now she needs to decide how to put out the inferno. We in the National Prosecuting Authority have important work to do, which includes devoting our efforts to holding accountable those who have corrupted our institutions, who have betrayed the public good and the values of our constitution, but there are many battles that lie ahead. One is former President Jacob Zuma's application for a permanent stay of prosecution in his corruption case. Another is the inquiry into the fitness of advocates Nom Chiba and Lawrence Mkwebi to hold office. With Batoy's appointment, President Cyril Ramaphosa is hoping to clean up the NPA. It follows a damning constitutional court ruling questioning the independence of the prosecuting authority one he remembers all too clearly. The court went on to say, if you subvert the criminal justice system, you subvert the rule of law and constitutional democracy itself. But does Batoy inspire confidence? The Institute for Security Studies believes she's up for the task, considering her long-serving role as a senior advisor to the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court. So having a strong appointment, a person who has a history in the NPA, but also who has national and international experience, is, ex is extremely important. And in Shamila's words uh, herself, I think it really is about fighting the good fight now. Batoy says the rule of law must stand supreme. Aldrin St. Pierre, Pretoria.